Hey, it's Gio. Welcome back to my series on looking at these e-ink devices to see if I can find one that fits uh, what I'm looking for, my, my workflow. Uh, if you remember, previously I'd opened up the Note Air, the Books Note Air 3C, which is the color device here, used it for about 24 to 36 hours before then opening up the Note Air 3. Um, it's been about 48 hours now since I opened up this 3, and I can say I'm impressed. Um, with the 3C, one of the things I was concerned about was the battery life, and that played out to be true. Like, my concerns played out to be true. The battery ran down really quickly, much quicker than I thought it was going to. Um, and the 3 has not only um, made me happy about its lack of battery drain, but it actually impressed me. Um, I've, I've used it quite a bit, um, probably more than the 3C, um, on average, of course, I only use the 3C for 24 hours. I use this for 48 hours now. But on average, during the day, I probably use this 3 more than the 3C. And if you remember, when I opened up the 3, the battery <clears throat> came at about 92, 93% full. You can see here, it's still at 68% um, on the battery. And that's pretty good battery life, in my opinion. I've done file transfers, the same file transfers I did on the 3C, putting some PDFs on there. I've done uh, more reading on the 3 than I did in the 3C. I've done more writing. Um, I've even installed an extra app on the 3C, 3 here than I did in the 3C and done more reading in there. Um, so this this one is impressive to me, this, this 3. What I wanted to do today is um, go over just some of my thoughts, kind of like I did with the 3C and my 24-hour impressions. This is kind of like my 48-hour impressions on the 3. Um, and you can see here some of my notes I took about the 3 as I went along. Um, <clears throat> I mentioned or I noted that after about 24 hours of use, the battery on the 3 was down to 82%, so about a 10% decrease in the battery. Um, I probably used it more yesterday in the second, 48, second 24 hours than I did in the first 24 hours, uh, which resulted in a little bit more of a battery drain, but no, really not much more at all. Um, in that time, I did some light file transfers and did three pages of writing and notes um, and some extra notes past that, I guess. Uh, and honestly, I haven't missed the color at all. Um, I thought the color would be kind of cool, and it is kind of cool, to be honest. Um, it's a little more light on the color uh, saturation than I would have desired. Um, but I haven't really missed the color as I've gone through my daily work. My workflow is one where I'll be doing Kindle reading, um, article reading from the web uh, through an app like Readwise. And um, there's just not a whole lot of, of color. In the Readwise, there is color because it's web articles most of the time and they import some of the images. But honestly, I don't miss the color. Um, it's not like I'm looking at those images. It's not the, re the reason I'm, I have it is not to look at the images, but to read the article. So I haven't really missed the color. I also haven't noticed the smaller DPI. One of the things I was concerned about, again, between the two, was this screen has a resolution of 227, whereas the 3C screen has a res resolution in black and white of 300. Um, so higher resolution on the 3C than the 3, and I thought that might be an issue. I'm used to the Kindle Oasis here, which has a resolution of 300. Um, so that fits more in line with the 3C than the 3. And I thought that was going to be an issue, where I was hoping it wasn't. And honestly, I haven't noticed it. There was a couple times where I thought, oh, geez, I can see the, the jagged lines. I can see the pixels. But the reality is I just didn't have it configured right on the 3. You know, we, there's this e-ink um, configuration app or settings area where you can optimize the display. And it turns out I just had it on one of the lower um, settings here to where it the screen refreshed quicker, but also had a kind of a lower resolution and didn't really make the screen as pretty as it could. Um, so I've I've learned <laughs> through through this that some of those things are configurable, and my concerns are not valid. They did not play out about the DPI. I've also found that um, comfortability wise, in terms of reading, <clears throat> the the front light on the three I've kept it at about forty percent or so. Whereas on the 3C, it needed to be like to 70 or 80% for it to be comfortable in a normal reading condition. Again, I have lights all around me right now, so it's not a typical um, configuration where I'm reading. It would more be like under one single lamp or um, just under some ceiling lights. I haven't tried these outside yet. It's been quite rainy this week where I am, <clears throat> so... I haven't been able to test the outdoors capability. I have my Kindle Oasis today because I had a viewer ask to compare the screens of the three. 
And honestly, that's a good idea because one of my initial um, videos mentioned that I'm used to the screen on this Kindle Oasis. And it's got 300 DPI like the 3C, sorry, it has 300 DPI like the 3C does in black and white, whereas the 3 only has a 227 um, DPI screen. So I thought I'd compare the, the differences here. Um, one thing I'll mention is uh, if you like these videos, you find them helpful, it would be help me out if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. Not only helps YouTube um, know that they're helpful videos, but it also helps me as well. I'm purchasing these with my own money and these are not sponsored in any way. So the way you could pay me back is just hitting that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. So back to these screens, I have them all at the minimum brightness and the um, coolest on the, the books note airs that they can be. Um, there isn't a warmth setting that I know of on the Kindle Oasis, uh, so I left that just as it is. Um, and so we can compare the screens. Altogether, you can kind of see that the 3C is certainly the darkest of the three. Um, it's easy for me to see in this lighting in person. I'm hoping it comes through on the video. The 3 and the 3C, sorry, the 3 and the Kindle Oasis are both a little closer to each other in terms of the brightness. Um, the color is a little bit different. I'm having a hard time deciding which one's actually more yellow. Um, and it may just be that because I can't put them directly side by side, I, it's hard to really compare. I do have this sheet of regular printer paper that I pulled out of my printer um, to see which one gets closest to the, uh, to the white of a printer paper. Um, you can see that none of them really get to the color of a piece of paper, at least at the minimum brightness, no front light. Um, but that's fine. They're not really supposed to, I guess, necessarily. Um, but there's a good indication of that. I don't know why I flipped that over, like it's going to matter on one side or the other. So now let's turn up these brightnesses and see what they look like. Um, I have each of these on the same page, so we can kind of compare as much as possible. I'm going to turn up the front light on the 3 all the way up, the 3C all the way up, and on the Oasis, turn up the brightness all the way up on that one as well. All right, there is the difference of brightness levels. We do a full refresh here and here, just so we know we're looking at a free re full refresh to screen. Now, in terms of the color of a piece of paper, like they're closer, obviously, in whiteness to this piece of paper now that the front light is on, as you'd kind of expect, especially with the uh, coolness of the bright of the warmth on these all the way down, all the way cold. Now, let's do like a quick. Yep, I know I've got low battery. Um, let me do a quick. On this one first, before the battery runs out, here's what the up close on the screen looks like. I'm hoping that this will focus for you. I can't, can't really see what that camera is seeing up there, so I'm hoping this comes through. But this is the Kindle Oasis. Again, 300 DPI uh, on the screen, only black and white, brightness all the way up. Okay. This is the uh, Note Air 3. Again, brightness all the way up, warmth all the way cold. This is a cold setting here. You can see that. You can tell that the image itself is a little fuzzier. Um, and I don't know what Kindle, the, the Kindle app does and for those images. My guess is it's just the image itself that's fuzzy at this size. It's also obviously rendering it a lot larger on this screen than it is on the Oasis screen. All right, hopefully that gives you a good idea of that. And then the 3C. Again, the 3C is much darker, even at full brightness. And um, more and more as I compare these devices, I'm realizing that I don't think this 3C is the device for me. Um, you can kind of see that. I have the font size a little bit bigger over here. Let me see if I can make that similar. Well, it is similar. Uh, I think I just messed with the DPI setting on this um, in the e-ink center, which I'm still learning how to use all this, to be honest. So that's as close as I can get it for now. Um, let's go to warm settings here. So this is all the way warm on the three and the three C. And, um, again, you can tell that the three is much brighter than the three C. Um, I'm hoping again that that comes through on the app or not the app, but the, uh, the video here. Um, I can't see what that camera is seeing. Hopefully that comes through via YouTube. Okay. So more and more, I'm liking, that's very yellow. I'm going to turn that down because that's going to bother me. Um, I'm more and more, I'm liking the three 
over the three C. I'm pretty confident I'm going to be turning the, returning the three C um, <clears throat> at some point soon because I don't think it's for me. I haven't missed that color. I haven't missed the DPI in terms of the text rendering. And um, it's bigger than my Kindle. Like this is nice to just pop in my pocket and go read somewhere. Um, but this one, obviously, you can take the notes um, and and do that. And I like being an active reader, taking notes, highlighting, all that kind of stuff. And you can do that with your finger on the Kindle here, but it's not quite the same as when you have this pencil because this is fun to write the notes in, the notes with. All right, so those are my impressions after about 48 hours with the three and a good comparison, hopefully, between the three, the three C and the Kindle Oasis. I actually wasn't expecting my super note to get here until Tuesday, which is still a number of days away. But yesterday, uh, DHL delivered this package, and inside is my super note. I'm not gonna do an unboxing in this video, but at some point I'm gonna tear into this and see what this is like compared to these devices as well. So stay tuned to that. Um, if you want to support the channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.